Next problem we got here is we got a broke sprocket cast. So Charlie and Thomas here is going to beat the living crap out of it till it breaks, slide the center of it over out our way, and replace it. We got a steel two piece um, sprocket that will just bolt right back on there. And while they're taking care of that, torch. Torch is over here. Come in here, a striker. Put the fire laser over here, do a little cutting. Trim a little off that gusset so we can slide the center of that over out the way. It ain't gonna hurt nothing being out there. A lot less trouble than having to take that bearing all the way off to get it off. Can't cut into that because it's cast, so that's where the hammer comes into play. It's actually a log deck that comes from the debarker hourglass rollers. I don't know if you remember the last video we patched the roller over there. Comes from debarker, goes up here, metal detector which we got to replace, and then once we get the scrag in, which we'll explain that in another video one day, they'll be able to separate it the cab. If it's a smaller log, send it to the scrag which will shoot it off right here, which we will be doing some welding over here. And if it's a bigger log, have a little stop. It goes right there and sends them all into the head saw. While they're getting that installed, I'm gonna come over here, do some welding on the scrag. This thing isn't quite in place yet. It's more or less gonna double our production. We'll take a walk up there. I'm finishing getting these hourglass rollers in place. Got our air assembly here. Got a water separator which just takes the water out the air. Obviously, well, it's got a water separator, and then it goes to an oiler, which kind of helps keep your valves oiled up, your cylinders oiled up, and keep it from ever getting condensation and messing up the bores of the cylinders and all that good stuff. You see there's our metal detector, our rollers. Here's our stop that'll pop up. You know, on Scrag, you're only gonna cut something like a two-sided six or two-sided four, so it's gonna be a smaller log. Like, really, all them logs go to the Scrag once we got it installed. And nothing but eight by eight logs, six by sixes will go to the head saw. And once it does come to the scrag, go down these rollers, hit a stop right there, which will have a little kicker. Kick the logs over. Goes up the deck. Into the rollers. Roll it till you can get your lasers on both sides. And through the saw it goes, down the line to my big gang over there, which will cut it in a three inch lumber or four by four, six by six is whatever, and finish it off and send it down my green chain. Look at them little fellers, I'm getting the job done over there. I'm getting her done. One less thing I have to mess with. Nothing wrong with that. A little groundage hooked up here. Everything's tied in together, so pretty much ground wherever I want, as long as I'm not going through a shitload of bands on the way to where I'm welding that because it will lock a bearing down if you get a bad arc or bad ground somewhere. Starting off, we're gonna get our oiler, water separator, welded up right here. That's where it's gonna be in place. Well, these unistruts up inside, and that's gonna hold our airlines and whatever future things we need to hold. That'll be it over here. So far, they've got their chain broke off here. Got the deal busted off the center of the flange. Charlie's doing a little cut and we'll knock that over, get the two piece on, and that'll be all locked, cocked, ready to squeeze lumber. See you the way. I'm tired of me talking, let's do this thing. place right there so all our lines can just run down the frame. Don't need much weld on this, just a couple tacks.
Oiler is all mounted up. Water separator. Line will shoot through. We'll use hose to tie all this stuff in. I got my valve that's going to go right there. A little electric valve. Which your oiler will work some of that too. So our man Norm, which built this assembly, he's going to finish running all the pipage for me. While he's doing that, I'm going to come over and assist him. Charlie and going to go get that split sprocket on there. Got it all perfect. Charlie's getting the key in there. He's a man with the plan. Yep. Master of disaster. I'm the shit. The apprentice over here, he's getting us some sockets. The soda pop boy's coming. The 1125 sign over there. The Canadian cowboy with all the denim. That's how you can tell he's a real welder with all that denim. Con artists like me, we don't use no denim sleeves, anything like that. It ain't easy being cheesy. I don't know what the sawmill would do if y'all wasn't here. The place would burn to pieces. I was gonna try the bolt from the bottom because it was kind of tight. I just had to get that block cut off of it. 